Welcome back to Bottom Gear, mates. Today on Bottom Gear, we're card show. We're going to open cards now. Today on Bottom... Tonight on Bottom Gear. <laughs> uh... <laughs> James joins the Imperium. Hammond is slain by the Zen <laughs> Scourge. And I converted the Lord Graded Lord to Zeech for power and speed. <laughs> it's time for the Warhammer Champions card game. So I bought this for two quid, which would which should tell you a lot about how defunct this game is. Pretty much from the start. Turns out Warhammer players don't care about card games that much, and I don't blame them. There is a difference between a tabletop game and a card game, and most of it's about minis, to be honest. Also, there's a lot more strategy involved, and less luck. Also, I think this card game is just generally quite shit. Uh, anyway, so this is a box itself, so you've got, obviously, Thorns of the Briar Queen, Weird Stuff, Storm Squires, Curse Breaker, Thingies, some like unique cards. Uh, that's the back, so we've got the Briar Queen's madness echoes through the mortal realms. A banshee of eternal malice and dread. The thought of the Briar Queen following their mistress in rat frappful wake, a Jin Rath horde bound to fulfill their queen's wailing commands while half of the thought of all encounter. It's funny because I actually have both um, Stormcast and the uh, Nighthaunt mini set because I bought the Mortal Realms um, subscription magazine for a while. Because it was cheap minis. So I have a bunch of those minis. And this is like a, a supplement to improve like two of those decks, kind of. Uh, Storm Squire's Curse Bearers is Averon Storm Spire and his fearless curse breakers strike, f strike straight into the heart of enemy lines. These war hardened battle mages of the Sacrosanct Chamber embody the very essence of the God King Sigmar's fury, devastating and unfoolish to stand against. I think the thing is, as well, is the law of Warhammer is like really, really fucking complicated. Whereas in card games like Pokemon and Yu Gi Oh!, there is somewhat complicated law in places, but you don't actually need to really know or understand it to enjoy the game. This, I feel like you kind of have to understand a bit more about the factions and what they do. Whereas you it's just like. It has an effect. It does this. You want to put your gladiator beast back in the deck and get out another bigger gladiator beast? You could do that. This is how the effect works. You don't need to know their law. It's just they're cool. They're beasts that are also gladiators. Fucking that simple, motherfucker. I mean, I guess you do have some like Drytron. It's like what are those things? Or uh, sprit guns? Uh, what is it now? What are the kids these days? Look at do the hang on, paper notes. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, sushi, sushi ships. See, still a relatively simple concept, just it's a warship, but it's also sushi. Done. Print it. Anyway, um, anything else about this box that's interesting? Oh, yeah, your warband pack contains 16 exclusive cards. Nice. Two champion cards, six spells, six abilities, and two units. So they have unit cards, not creatures. Why? Um, one onslaught booster and two champions boosters. So onslaught something like the evil booster, and then champions like the good guy booster. I don't fucking know. I did get one of the decks of this back in the day. So weirdly enough, you have this, and you might be thinking, "Where's the other two boosters? They're on the back. They're actually in the back here, for some reason. Don't know why they would just not do. I don't know." Hang on, wait. That! Would that not have made more sense? No wonder your game card game failed. I came with a better fucking packaging idea than you, dumb shits. <laughs> I shouldn't maybe roast them, but... Nah. But yeah, I thought these were three quid. Turns out they're only two. Okay, I have opened this pack up, but I will not look at that yet. <laughs> um... I, I, I thought about going back around to the other side of the checkouts and actually getting a second boost, uh, second one of these, but we just get the one. Because no one's playing this game. N no one is playing this game. Like, committee, Duel Masters, maybe some people are playing that. This, no one's playing this game. N not one person. Final Fantasy, people play that occasionally. That, um, body fight, 
card fight Vanguard. People people play that. Not this. No, nobody plays. This, as far as I'm aware, didn't get past its first two boosters. As far as I'm aware, this is as far as it got. Same with Transformers. It just went nowhere. And they're both massive properties, so it's not like the property was the problem. Although in this case, it may have been a little bit. I think it's just I think it's just lack of events, lack of interest, lack of competitive scene. No one latched onto it. But uh, we have Blessed Banishments. This is like your um, Stormcast cards. Gain two health, shuffle a highlight death, leaving your Stormcast decks. It's kind of like you can either do it to yourself to get, to recur something. So oh, something's dead. I'll just put it back in my deck, and maybe I'll get it later. Or you can, if your opponent uses a graveyard-based deck, you can go, no, put that shit back in your deck. Would have been nice if they just had banished it, like in other card games that has, like, the Banish Zone, Exile, Pokemon had the Lost Zone, or something, that was, like, a thing in the Diamond and Pearl Plan the Mirror or something. I don't remember, but it was, like, vaguely, like, similar to Exile slash Banish. Why didn't this game do this? It's not like it hasn't been done before and was useful and cool. Anyway. So we have Storm Sire. Spire. Yeah, Storm Sire. Uh, circular damage to your opponent. I don't know. Um, Anti-clockwise damage to your opponent. Whenever a highlighted champion deploys a unit, deal anti-clockwise damage. And it also has like these weird like symbols of how it can react to things, which is kind of interesting. But... Like, this one has, if you look at the bottom, like a domino, that red thing with a blue. And this one has, like, that book with three. I imagine it's kind of like D&D, &D, where it's like, okay, this either this only affects the unit in front of me, or it's, this only affects, can affect these three units in front of me, or something. Uh, we have Stormstar's Cruise, Curse Breaker, which is a unit. I like how these are all foil, by the way. And it's nice to actually have a, a thing which just says, we'll just give you not one or not two, but like 12 foil cards. Done. You know, instead of like, oh, this one's foil, this couple of aren't. It's just, here, have a bunch of fucking cool foils. <clears throat> so this is, damage to your opponent, remove a highlighted non-order unit. It's just like, oh, your unit isn't part of the force of order? Well, fuck you. Um, Avaron Storm Cyrus, that's like a character. It's like it's like armored Gandalf. This champion can deploy stormcast units. So he's, I guess he's like a commander or something. So you deploy, you play him, and then you can play stormcast units from him. Heroic act remove highlight spells. This heroic act can only be used once per game. Okay, and then you do get some non foils. Okay, so you get another copy of Blessed Banishment. Grasping chains. Three damage to your opponent, move a highlighted order spell or owner's unit to its owner's hand. So again, you can use it for yourself or use it against your opponent. I feel like, given this looks like a Night Haunt ability, uh, I would imagine you would probably use it against order. Uh, another Storm Sire and Howling Vortex, which says, <clears throat> Move this spell to a highlighted allied champion, replacing the card, any card they have in play, Damage to your opponent, remove a highlighted enemy unit. And it's got a different, like, AoE, so it's got, like, the bit in the middle, red, and then green. So I guess, like, green is positive, and then red is negative or something. It's like, oh yeah, move this spell to a highlighted ally champion. So it's like, that means, I guess, that's maybe where the green has to be. <coughs> Replacing any card they have in play. Or something like that. <coughs> and then this side, you've got the foils for the other side, which includes a foil grasping chain to the front. We already know what that does. We mention it. Very nice. Howling Vortex as well in foil. Nice that they do give you more than one copy of a unique card as well. It's like, okay, this card's unique to the best thing, so we'll give people multiple copies of them. I actually genuinely do not see other companies doing that. Uh, by the way, this company was... It's powered by Playview, so I guess they're like the publisher, distributor, maker of the actual game, and then Games Workshop just like possibly had a little bit to do with them, slap their name on it, and gave them the rights. Howling Vortex is just actually nice. So these are the Thorns of the Briar Queen. I think I actually do have a physical version of this unit. Damage to your opponent. Highlighted enemy champions cannot rotate. <laughs> they, I have prevented your ability to 
spin. There will be no spin for you. And then you have the the Briar Queen, which actually I don't think is a character. I think they're just like a unit leader. I think I have her somewhere. This champion can deploy spirit units. You're going to deal one damage to your opponent for each highlighted spirit unit. Cool. So hers is like, okay, in the green highlighted zones, including herself. Fuck you. Basically. Um, and then you get a Blessed Banishment here. The Grasping Chains here. A Storm Sire, and yeah, they're going to get another. So you do get three copies of each of the unique spells, which is actually pretty cool. It would have been nice to get more than unique units and unique characters, but I don't know if you need more than one unique unit slash character. But it's cool to get multiple copies of a unique card within a set that gives you unique stuff. As, quote, promos. Just cool. So we'll open up the Onslaught booster first, which I kind of semi-opened already. Sorry, folks. Um, it is worth to note that this is, like, as you can see here, it as was stuck at the bottom and the top for some reason. Uh, I guess to fit the promo slot for the pack, I think. Um, but this opens up very nicely, as you can see. Except for the, that bit where it's held by tape. And, uh, yeah. Ooh! So we have Bolt of Dzinch. Can be only be used, to, can only be deployed by a demon champion. Interesting. Different kind of spell, I guess. Uh, and clockwise damage to your opponent. <laughs> I cast Fireball. It's gonna help. You are too weak to understand, you puny barbarian. <laughs> um, damage to your opponent. Increase this by three if the highlighted champion is engaged. Fair enough. Uh, leaving Wood spell gain anti-clockwise health. Anti-clockwise damage to your opponent. This is the unit. Savage Stickers! It's Orcs, mate! Look at these fucking Orcs! Um... If this unit has support too, all of these champions cannot deploy units. Stacking. I don't know what stacking means. But I don't know what orc means. It means orcs. In it. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. I have Poised Namarthi Thrall, which I guess is a fleshier quartz unit. Slash individual. Reduce damage received by highlighted enemies by... And clockwise, reduce the increases by one if the highlighted champion costs two or less. Interesting. Death for death. This is a pretty interesting thing. That's a blood letter, I think. Remove a highlighted allied spell or unit to remove a highlighted enemy spell or unit. So it's like I'm going to get rid of one of my spells, and you have to get rid of, and I'll get rid of one of yours. Price to pay ability wizard. That's a Zinchian guy. Can only be played if a highlighted unit was removed this turn. You may search your deck for a spell and move it to your hand. If your deck was searched, shuffle it afterwards. So it's a searcher. Jesus Christ. That's pretty powerful, it sounds like. And it has like four red squares on the, under, over the top of four green squares. That probably means something. Glimpse the future. Uh, another Seachian thing, but also some sort of... Was Glimpse the future like a magic card as well? Corners, one and three. Draw three cards. Corners, two and four. What? Sir? Corners, two and four. Look at the top. Uh, Anti-clockwise cards of any deck. You may rearrange them and put them back on top of your deck to the deck. Okay. Oh, I guess so. That's like rotation. So depending on what rotation it's in, that's how many cards you would draw, and then if it's in a different corner, you... So it's like... Okay, so it's like corner one, this one, corner two, corner three, corner four, or what have you. It's like, okay, this corner... If it's, in, it's facing this way, upside down, you draw one, because that's what it says there. If it's this way, you scry three, essentially. What is, I guess... Look at them scrying, I guess, or fate seeing, or whatever the fuck they call it these days. Um, Grasp from the Grave, ability any, can only be played by a spirit, so this is Nighthawk kind of stuff, champion. Rotate up to two highlighted units and one step forwards. So <laughs> you spin them forward. And we have Bloodlight Knight Castellan, which is vampire-like counts, which I guess is like flashy at courts, because vampire counts no longer exist in Sigmar, fuck you. Damage to your opponent. 
when a highlighted unit is removed, to restart this unit. <laughs> Should turn the unit off and on again. We have Clawing Lava, Blessing Passive. I'm not sure if lava is a blessing. Heroic Act, Remove Highlighted Units. One dam damage to your opponent. Rotate this one step afterwards. Okay. An arrogant grot boss. It's a grot. It's a goblin. It's a goblin. Champion warrior. When this champion deploys a grot unit, rotate this champion one step forward. I mean, grot's not actually to do with orcs, apparently. What? The f Ooh, and I, we have a foil here. I don't know what that means in rarity terms. Um. Gain. Clockwise Hell and Clockwise Hell. Highlighted Champion cannot deploy spells or units. This is Giran, which I guess is like, um, Sylvanus or something? Sylvan? Fucking weirder guys. So it looks like, like, Silver seems to be, like, rare. This might be gold or bronze. Yes, yeah, so there's, like, these triangular... Oh, so that's... So the Blood Knight is rare, I guess, because he's got gold. And the rest are like bronze or silver. I get it. There's like these little triangular symbols. See it vaguely? You see it vaguely. Right, so now we open the champion's boosters. And say a hearty goodbye to Onslaught. Onslaught might have been their second set then, I don't bloody know. So we have Freakish Crip Har, which is, um... Oh, it's not... Flesh Eater, it's the other one. So there was, so there was skeletons, aka night horn, flesh eater, cause aka vampire, whatever, and then there's like some zombieish one. But that's uh more, um, yeah, he 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 life steals, I guess. Uh, we have strike force liberator, which is obviously stormcast. Very nice. Damage to opponent increases this by two. If they have twenty or more health. Bat swarm. That's beast, apparently. Um, damage to opponent increases his damage. Reduce damage to by high enemies by whatever. Chaotic restoration. <laughs> yes, I need restoring. Please save me. Um, corner one, damage to yourself. Corner three to four, gain health. Huh? Okay. Alpha Griff Charger. Aww. Aww. It's Griffin. Damage to your opponent increases by one of the highlight champion costs seven or more. I feel like that's like a storm casting as well. Demonic Fury, ability warrior. Can only be played by a demon champion. Two damage to yourself, five damage to your opponent. Cool. <laughs> it's a war, Chanter! You know, when you want to start a war, gain anti clockwise additional actions this turn. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That is actually pretty cool. And he is an uncommon as well, apparently, so that's pretty good. Transmogrifying Flamer. Oh, yeah, because, um, the ancient thing. Damaged opponent, last stand, deploy one demon unit from your hand, placing this card. Not bad. Uh, War Chant. This is an orc spell. From those weird boys. Draw cards face up. If it's a unit, you may deploy it onto Eyelight Champion. Normal special supply. And if that unit is not clunky, rotate will step forwards. And we have a Lord of the Host, so ability warrior for Stormcast. Can only be played by a Stormcast champion that costs seven or more. Gain two health, restart a highlighted unit. Turn them fucking on and off again. And we have Runemark Deathbringer, which is a demon champion. To go with our spell, which we need demon champions for. In fact, I think we have two of them that do that. Reduce damage... Re Received by high, from highlighted spells by Doom. Hungering Vamp. Whoa. Hungering Vampire Lord. Warrior Wizard Champion. Heroic Act. Discard one card from your hand and gain two health. I've seen this artwork before, and I think it was in, like, the Vampire Accounts book. I feel like this is, like, pre Sigma art. I swear I've seen that character art before. And we have a. Rare gold, I guess. Blood Throne of Corn, Champion Warrior. Nice. When this champion or a card controlled by this champion removes a highlighted unit, gain three health. That's a pretty nice demon champion. That's actually a presumably a good pull if it's a foil rare. 
Watch that like be one of the most expensive cards in the set and is actually worth like a bit to whoever collects this game. No one collects this game. No one plays this game. I am doing the stupid. Uh, so we have Crypt Shield of the Black Knight. So, oh, that's Risen. Yeah, so that's like sort of not quite Night Horn, but kind of. Um, some nice artwork. Sweeping Namazi Thrall. So similar. Those are like Dark Elves, I think. Uh, Stormstrike Fulminator. It's like, um, Stormcast on a mount. Not a griffin mount, for some reason. Like some weird beastie boy. Warding Light. So a good-looking Stormcasty spell. <coughs> Damage your opponent and gain health. So they seem to, like, hurt your opponent whilst healing. Pack of Blood Letters unit. Damn. It's your opponent. Just, just some Blood Letters. Done. Just some some blood letters. Twisting Screamer unit reduce damage for received pilot enemies by mm, yeah more, more good demon unit just 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 flying demons. Zichi boys. Restoring the forge. Nice. That's a nice. All right. Uh, can only be played by Stormcast champion. Obviously. Shovel to four Stormcast units from your discard pile on your net. Just useful. Capricious flamer. Oh, there we go. There's a Zichi flamer guy. The other flamer spell. Uh, damage to your opponent if this damage cannot exceed the highlighted unit's current corner value, if there is one. Okay. What, what, we got some other war chant, mates! Another one. Uh, slashing screamer, so another doesn't use screamer. Damage to your opponent, one damage to yourself. Heroic act, one damage to yourself, remove a highlighted unit. And we have Blood Reaver Chieftain, which... That's also chaos, but it's not a demon. He's just a he's just a lad. Champion warrior heroic act deal one damage to your opponent. Just a standard chaosy guy. And then we have Savage Loyalty Blessing Passive. Aw, no good dude Bramble. I think that's like a that's a dragon, I think. So probably a Dark Elf dragon. When you take one or more damage from your opponent, each highlighted beast unit deals one damage to them. And we have a foil version of the Flamer, dude. That's actually kind of cool. He's an interesting card with interesting art. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little look at uh, um, the failed Warhammer card game. Join us again for more defunct card game related stuffs. And uh, I hope you enjoyed once again. And this is Cody Jackson signing off. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, don't fall over and hurt your legs, please. I did that today and it hurt a bit. Bye-bye.